Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel RF Design Basics. So normally for stability we plot Bode plot in the control system and then we find gain margin and phase margin. In this video without using Bode plot and without doing any kind of plot I am going to explain how to find out gain margin and phase margin just by using scientific calculator. So listen to each and every steps carefully and this will be very accurate phase margin and gain margin calculation. So first of all this function is of S domain we are going to write them in terms of j omega. So it will become g j omega s j omega that is open loop transfer function is equal to 4 divided by in place of s we write j omega then 1 plus 0 0.5 j omega and 1 plus 0 0.08 j omega. So first we will finish this problem then we will go for the next one and we will see how it is going from a stable to unstable region or from unstable to a stable region by knowing the gain margin and phase margin. So here we can write the magnitude of g of j omega h of j omega as magnitude of numerator is 4 so it will remain 4 magnitude of j omega will be omega then multiplied by magnitude of this complex number which is 1 plus 0 0.5 j omega will be 1 plus 0 0.5 omega square then magnitude of this complex number is 1 plus 0 0.08 omega square so we'll be using calculator to calculate this magnitude. Also, what should be the value of frequency we are going to start with? For that purpose, we are going to find out the corner frequency. So corner frequency is just the coefficient. If we have this function in terms of 1 plus st1, 1 plus st2, so t1 and t2 are like time. So inverse of that will be the frequency. So here, corner frequencies are omega 1 equal to 1 by 0 0.5 equal to 2 radian per second and omega 2 the second corner frequency will become 1 by 0 0.08 because you can see 0 0.08 is over here so it will be 1 by 0 0.08 that is 12.5 radian per second. Here this is the magnitude and phase of this function will be numerator phase minus denominator phase. So numerator phase is 0. What is the denominator phase? Each phase we are going to write. So for j omega it will be 90 degree then minus, minus sign is for all the denominator term. This phase will be 10 inverse imaginary part by real part. So 10 inverse imaginary part is 0 0.5 omega real part is 1 so no need to write minus 10 inverse 0 0.08 omega. So now we are going to do some calculation and based on that calculation we will be finding out what is the gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency. So just follow the steps in the calculator. So I will be using two calculator. The reason is there is one uh, magnitude and then there is phase. So I want to write both the formulas and so that this can be completed fast. So first of all, I am going to write the magnitude formula in this calculator. So magnitude formula is given as 20 log and then this magnitude. So you can write 20 log then 4 divided by omega in term in place of omega we have various variables a b c and all we can use so we can use a multiplied by under root 1 plus 
zero point five a square. Then again multiplied by root over one plus zero point zero eight a square and then close the bracket. So this is the formula for magnitude. Now for example, I have this corner frequency so less than that we can put any value and check what is the value of this magnitude in dv. Let's say I am taking 0 0.1 so for that we have to press cal c this button cal c it will ask what is the value of a so I will give 0 0.1 so it will give me the value 32 dv. Similarly if I give 1 it gives me some value which is 11. So we want to know by hit and trial at which point it is approximately 0 dB. So that frequency will be gain crossover frequency. So as soon as we get 0, I will be writing that as a gain crossover frequency. So let us keep on doing this. Once it is getting negative means we have to come back and reduce the frequency. So right now I have taken frequency as 1. So I have taken 1. Now I will take 2 and see if there is negative value or positive value. So still it is positive value means we have to go ahead. Increase the value of A. So calculate increase the value of A. So we are going in the negative range now. That means the value of gain crossover frequency for the first case GCF gain crossover frequency is between 2 and 3. Now let us find out where exactly it is. So 2 and 3 means let us take 2.5. So Cal C 2.5. Here we get approximately 0 but still not 0. So we can you know since it is in the negative side we can reduce the frequency. Let's say 2.4. So 2.4 is positive. 2.5 is negative. So we can write 2.45 or even we can go ahead with 2.5 radian per second. This is for first example. So our gain crossover frequency is roughly 2.5 radian per second. We will see what is the benefit of this. Now next we are going to calculate. So without disturbing this formula, I am going to write the formula for the phase in another calculator. So the formula of phase is 0 minus 90 minus make sure that this is in degree because whatever angle is coming should be in degree we are adding with degree angle so that we have to assure minus 10 inverse so shift 10 inverse 0 0.5 omega means alpha a and then minus 10 inverse again so shift 10 inverse 0 0.08 a then close the bracket. Now I start calculating from again 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 is giving minus 93. If I increase further let's say 1. So this is giving minus 121. That means the negative value is increasing. We have to reach minus 180. So we have to keep on increasing. So after that I will take 2. So we are approaching 180 still 3 we are at 160 roughly 4 we are 170 then take 5 now it is exactly 180. So this frequency is called phase crossover frequency for this case. So phase crossover frequency is 5 radian per second. Now we can easily find out the gain margin and phase margin. We have both the frequencies, we have both the formulas. Use this gain crossover frequency in this and phase crossover frequency in this. Just swap it. So for gain margin calculation, we are going to take phase crossover frequency. That means gain margin will be at 5 radian per second. So where is our gain? Gain is over here. 
So we are going to calculate what is the gain at 5 radian per second. So I'll put 5 and it gives me the value minus 11.186. So gain margin we can calculate by taking 0 minus whatever value we have got. So minus 11.186 dB. So gain margin is 11.186 dB. That is the accurate value of gain margin. Then for phase margin, what we are going to do is, we will calculate at gain crossover frequency. So at GCF, gain crossover frequency means at 2.5. Phase margin, so here we will be putting 2.5. So we can put Cal C 2.5. So this gives us value minus 152.65. So this need to be added in 180 degree. So it is minus 52.65. So the value is 27.35 degree. So in this case, gain margin is positive 11.186 dB and phase margin is also positive which is 27.35 degree. If gain margin and phase margin both are positive, the system is uh, known as stable. So this system is a stable system with gain margin equal to 11.186 dB and phase margin as 27.35 degree. Now, we can see this expressions, how they are changed. The expressions are changed by just increasing the numerator value to 30. So that is roughly how many times? 4 into 7.5 times into 7.5 times. So only the numerator is changed. Denominator is same. So when we go for this magnitude, your denominator will remain same, only numerator will change from 4 to 30. So we can, we can see that this, we have to just edit the numerator from 4 to 30. And because of that, the phase crossover and gain crossover frequency is going to change. So this GCF and PCF, GCF is gain crossover frequency and PCF is phase crossover frequency. So let's see what are the uh, things changing here. So once I put 30, now I will put calculate. Start from again 0 0.1, it gives 49. So we need to increase more, one. So still it is positive. Let's directly go to five and see whether it is negative. Now still it is positive. We have to go further, calculate. 6 still positive calculate 7 still positive but little bit is approaching 0 I can take just little bit more than 7 that is 7.1 and see if it is negative yeah so 7.1 GCF is 7.1 radian per second now come to the phase part if you look into this expression in this by changing the gain there is no impact on phase part because you have just changed 4 to 30 so phase of 4 and 30 both are 0 degree so other phase remains same so phase crossover frequency does not change by increasing the gain so phase crossover frequency still will be previous one which was 5 radian per second that is phase crossover frequency. Now we need to calculate the gain margin and phase margin. For that purpose, we are going to use the formula for gain margin. Gain margin is the value in dB at phase crossover frequency. So where we have gain, gain is this. And the formula is 0 minus whatever value we get. So we will just put phase crossover frequency in this formula. So this formula, if I put phase crossover frequency, that is 5 
it gives me what is the gain it's showing 6.31 so let us write that 6.31 db so 0 minus 6.3 db is minus 6.31 db and then we will find out phase margin obviously phase margin will be calculated at gain crossover frequency what is gain crossover frequency 7.1 so here I will put 7.1 because this was the expression for the phase. So we get minus 193 and as per our formula it is 180 will be added in that so 180 minus 193.9 so this is minus 13.9 degree. Look into the values this is negative and this is also negative. So both gain margin and phase margin are negative. So the system is unstable. Now if I ask you what should be the value of numerator where system will be stable? What should be the maximum value of numerator? How we can calculate let us see one thing here as phase is not at all changing we can see we had 11.186 db margin means this 11.186 represents in terms of ratio if you just see this represents that 10 to the power 11.186 186 divided by 20 this is kind of anti log of 11.186 so we can get the actual ratio actual times how many times it can be increased so this value is 3.625 so this value comes 3.625 so maximum allowed increase of gain because this was the margin we can add 11.186 db means we can multiply with 3.625 maximum we can't multiply more than 3.625 here it is multiplied with 7.5 and that's why this stable system going into the unstable side there is a borderline borderline will be when you add 11.186 db gain in this system so you can calculate 3.625 in terms of 20 log 20 log 3.625 will give you 11.186 so basically maximum increase of gain can be done by multiplying is 3.625 if you multiply beyond that it will go in unstable region and that is why this system becoming unstable i hope in this video you have learned how to find out gain margin and phase margin without doing Bode plot, Nyquist plot etc just by using the calculator. You can try this for any given function and you can find out the gain margin and phase margin. I will take one more example in next video. Thank you.